SpaceX continues to gear up for the first ever orbital test flight of its Starship Mars rocket. SpaceX performed another static fire test on the 15th of December at its South Texas facility, lighting up Ship 24, a prototype of Starship's 50-meter-tall upper-stage spacecraft. One of the ship's six Raptor engines ignited at 2.01 p.m. Eastern, firing for about seven seconds while the vehicle remained anchored to the ground. The brief test was captured on video by Lab Padre, and as always, huge thanks for his hard work. SpaceX itself also shared the static fire test from every conceivable angle, and it's so freaking cool. From this angle, I feel like it's about to lift off. Well, we can all dream, can't we? But man, have we waited so long for that fateful flight. The Starship prototype has already been through a static fire gamut. It lit up all six of its Raptors in September, for example. Regardless, a single engine static fire test in itself is still a huge success. And of course, this success has nothing to do with engines because it didn't break any engine test records. Even so, the test marks the first time SpaceX has conducted a static fire on Ship 24 in more than three months since SpaceX successfully ignited all six engines on its Starship prototype back in September. Not only that, but it also is the first test of Ship 24 after it completed its reinforcements. As previously reported, SpaceX had conducted reinforcing of the weld lines between the vehicle's steel ring segments in preparation for the first orbital flight test in the past few weeks. The work is finally done, about a few days ago. Thus, the new static fire still marks a milestone. On the other hand, this test might be used to check the status of the launch pad after after repair. Back in September, although the Starship made through its first six-engine test seemingly unscathed, the launch pad was not so lucky. Starship S-24 could have produced up to 1,380 tons of thrust when it ignited all six engines. Eight long seconds of blast furnace conditions melted the top layer of the surrounding concrete and shot a hailstorm of tiny superheated globules in almost every direction. I love the word globules. Indeed, in almost every direction, there was something readily able to burn, and a fire started. Although this dumpster fire of a situation was eventually resolved, there was still leftover damage, and they're not pretty. Just take a look at the launch pad at the time. It looked like ruins. SpaceX then carried out repairs and upgrades to ground equipment, and luckily, the result is as expected. This latest test went smoothly. At least we don't see anything falling or shooting. Of course, the effect will be clearer when SpaceX conducts another six-engine test, though I'm not sure when it'll be underway. Now, we prefer to witness a test of 33 engines on Booster 7. SpaceX is rapidly upgrading everything in preparation for this long-awaited test. The company now has 12-hour test windows tentatively scheduled on December 19th and the 22nd. While SpaceX is ramping up in preparation for its landmark flight, Russia's Suzy rocket had just encountered a major problem. A leak sprung from a Russian crew capsule in space on Wednesday at 7.45 p.m. Eastern, spraying coolant into low Earth orbit. This happened less than two hours before a scheduled spacewalk, and as of Thursday afternoon, an ongoing investigation by NASA and Russia has indefinitely postponed the next spacewalk. This is a developing story. First and foremost, the crew on the ISS is safe. This visible stream of flakes, NASA communications officer Rob Navias described the site during a live stream, raises a question of whether or not the Expedition 68 crew on the ISS will face a hurdle to come home next year. Crew capsule perform both the outbound and return trips. The Expedition 68 mission is scheduled to end in March of 2023. Three spacefarers hitched a ride to low Earth orbit orbit on September 21st on board this Russian Soyuz MS-22 capsule. That included the two Russian cosmonauts Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Pedelin, who were getting ready to exit the International Space Station's Poisk module airlock for a spacewalk on Wednesday. NASA astronaut Frank Rubio, not involved with the spacewalk, was the Soyuz's third passenger. The crew members aboard the space station are safe and were not in any danger during the leak, NASA's space station blog said on Thursday. Thursday. The space station is in good condition and the Expedition 68 crew is safe, NASA's space station Twitter account tweeted on Wednesday. At the time of the leak, the duo was getting ready to exit for a seven-hour spacewalk 
also known as an EVA, short for extravehicular activity, this procedure would have picked up the work Prokopiev and Pedalin left off from their November 17th spacewalk. This would have marked the 12th ISS spacewalk of 2022, designed to transfer a radiator from the ISS RASVET module and then connect it to the NAUCA multi-purpose laboratory module. NAUCA was a 2021 addition to the ISS and also had a drama fraught episode upon arrival in which it misfired its thrusters and caused the ISS to tilt from its typical position in orbit. As a Thursday afternoon, NASA and the Russian space agency Roscosmos have shared limited information during their ongoing investigation. The spacewalk has been cancelled and ground teams in Moscow are evaluating the nature of the fluid and potential impacts on the integrity of the Soyuz spacecraft, which carried Prokopiev, Petalin, and NASA astronaut Frank Rubio into space after launching from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan on September 21st, NASA shared on Wednesday in a blog post. The cosmonauts did not exit the space station and no crew members were exposed to the leaking coolant, NASA wrote in a Thursday afternoon update. In a later post, NASA officials shared that the suspected leak source is the external radiator cooling loop of the Soyuz. Roscosmos is closely monitoring Soyuz spacecraft temperatures, which remain within acceptable limits, NASA added. NASA and Roscosmos continue to coordinate external imagery and inspection plans to aid in evaluating the external leak location. Plans for an additional inspection of the Soyuz exterior using the station's Canadarm2 robotic arm are underway. According to the Russian state news agency TASS, the loss of pressure in the thermal system of the Soyuz spacecraft docked to the station triggered the suspension of Wednesday's spacewalk. In a separate TASS post, it said that a preliminary assessment shows that the leak came from damage to the external casing of the Soyuz MS-22 crew spacecraft's instrumentation and equipment compartment. TASS added that the crew later reported an activation of the sensor of the spaceship's fault detection system that signaled a drop in pressure in the cooling system. Former NASA astronauts took to Twitter to voice their concerns. Former twin study U.S. astronaut Scott Kelly called the leak a serious situation. Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield shared his thoughts via the social media platform as well, describing its nature as serious and then adding, not good, lots of fast decision making going on. But you know what else is serious? Our appreciation of you watching today and for all of your support. And if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX and my team and I will see you next time.